Hello and welcome to mission number three. Matthew from miniwargaming.com with Skari here. And we're uh, in this rescue and retrieval mission, Matthew. You've uh, sent your most elite troops and the chapter master himself, the sons of Prometheus, or the scions of Prometheus, to come and find out what was going on. And you get here, okay? And you know, as you're approaching, you hear some explosions in the distance. As you get closer, you notice a hastily erected defensive perimeter that seems to be manned by forces of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Um, you see uh, a couple of castle robots in like a guardian protocol, just protecting and, sh you know, you know their, their guns are blazing. They, you know, they aren't actually shooting anything. They were as you were approaching, but once you got there, whatever has been assailing them has sort of like disappeared into the mist uh, per se. Um, so, you approach the encampment. So tell me, do you approach quickly? Do you approach carefully? Uh, do you sort are of like... Are these Admech familiar to me from... They are. They are from the cult, uh, the, 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 the... The ones that would have been on this planet. Correct, 100%. Well, then I approach hastily to try to uh, make contact and get some reinforcements. Okay, perfect. Much needed reinforcements after last game. <laughs> there you go. Chapter Master Adonatus and his relief force have made contact with the forces of the Adeptus Mechanicus, stepping out of his land raider, Redeemer. He speaks with the priest. So, Matthew, do you understand your mission parameters? Yeah, I'm glad I brought a land raider, not a <laughs> yes, of course, you can put the objective into the, into the land raider. Um, what is this winged beast? that they speak of, and these forces that come out of nowhere, seemingly. What do you think it is? Uh, a rather beefy gargoyle. <laughs> there you go. So <laughs> you are allowed to take the Adeptus Mechanicus forces with you, and anything that survives will be added to your crusade force or your campaign force. Awesome. Does the objective start in my land raider, or does it start? No, there? it starts right there. And the aim is to take it off the table and to safety through the craggy terrain. And I hope you are ready for this. We'll see. Okay, perfect. As you were chatting, of course, the forces of the hive mind take the first turn. Please. As a reminder for this mission, of course, we get to use each stratagem one time. No, no command points are being used whatsoever. Uh, each stratagem gets to be used one time. We're also using environmental battle missions for the Death Worlds to represent the breaking up of the planet. However, for this one, we're using the uh, seismic hazards because the Adeptus Mechanicus have dug too deep and now things are shaken. And by seismic, I mean seismic. That one, there you go. I know how to say, I know how to say English words, Matthew. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's do... The D6 effect on the chart is a three, gnashing earth. The ground gnaws like a living thing. Choose an unengaged infantry unit with none of its models in terrain, and all models must pass an initiative test or take a strength three hit. So I'm gonna pick the Vanguard over here. And they were initiative three at that they time. Are. When that edition was written, right? So that initiative test is three or less. Yep. <gasps> one fail, what happens? Okay, so one just died. Uh, strength three, so you take a strength three hit. Ha, nothing. Okay. <laughs> I love the old rules. <laughs> oh, no. I was right, it is a gargoyle. <laughs> That's riding inside of a <laughs> Harrodin. I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> it's flying to come and get you. <laughs> Yes, there's also a lot of gargoyles inside of it. Yes. I knew it was a gargoyle. Yes, it is a giant gargoyle. No, no there's, there's a gargoyle. That's the gargoyle oh, yeah, right yeah. there. That's, that's the guy that they're talking about, right? There's 20 of He's them in gonna there. He's going to drop them off and fly away. That's right. <laughs> the winged beast hath returned for another pass at the defensive line. Okay, and there we go. We've got, oh no, they came out of the woodworks. Gene steal a colt everywhere. Okay, so there's a jackal Alphys. Okay, here we go. We've got the first unit of um, little bike dudes. Little bike dudes. Okay, and here we have another unit of 
little things. Actually, let's uh, yeah, let's put them a little closer over here, nine inches away to shoot you with shotguns and stuff. Yeah. We have the little buggy as well. There you have it. They That's have it? arrived. That's all you got. That's all I got. <laughs> Okay, there we have it, folks. Let's do some shooting. We got the Sentinels coming in. They are bladed cogs, so they'll have a six up and normal save. And if they get into close combat, they'll hit Imperium and Admech better with their stratagem. They get like exploding, exploding hits in combat and stuff, which is pretty exciting. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to execute a perfect ambush over here, which allows them to shoot in the movement phase when they arrive. And we start the festivities with the first unit, so all the shotguns, that's six shotguns into you. Uh, of course, I'm going to nominate that unit to get uh, B hit, so plus one to hit them uh, with this guy here. So. Oh, you can't do that yet. <gasps> oh, that's right. It's in the shooting phase. Ah, uh, he knows the rules better than I do. Well, <laughs> hey -ya! play this army a little bit. <laughs> and I'm forced to wound you. Ooh, take two saves. We are behind the... Yeah, the me back light to cover there. Three up. I've only got one wound each. Oh, Ooh. good start. I got good one start. down. And then the heavy, the uh, Atlan Flamer. Ooh, oh. five hits. Oh. I like it. Freeze three this time. Uh, oh, minus one. Two. two minus one. Back to a four up. So I duck behind cover. Another one, another one gets burnt to a Blah. crease. Very so first uh, part of the shooting, he can't see actually, he did, can't see the dreadnought because I literally put him in front of a big wall. Uh, so he's gonna <laughs> make see. the plus one hit on the robots over here. Yeah, and then he's gonna use a stratagem to increase his range so that they get the bonus as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Not that it matters because I have twelve inch guns. That's because they're probably gonna shoot <laughs> at them again anyway. Yeah, uh, but it's what else am I gonna use it for? Okay, so with that, let's do some shooting. I just have the one auto stubber into your big robots. Three shots. Ooh, they hit twice this time. <laughs> and needing five to wound. Nothing. And then it's sniper rifle into the robots. Hits. Ah, does nothing. And last but not least, we'll do these over here. Are gonna take a pot shot at your vanguard once again okay there we go so vanguard getting shot don't get the plus one here and needing four to wound you Ooh, oh, no. nice roll three up well they're oh, dead i got them <laughs> so we should bring in new units to my army that's right i've got to kill him got to kill him dead the harridan will now go next it will take d3 mortal wounds to give itself plus one to wound it takes two mortal wounds, going down to 32 remaining. <laughs> of course, uh, the, his upgrade is Dermic Symbiosis to make it nice and tough. Naturally. Nice and tough. Five up involved on that monster. I will be shooting the Dreadnought, however. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, he has a smokescreen keyword, so smokescreen. Okay. Pop well, smoke. I'm just going to do everything into him. Uh -huh. So that's 16 shots. 16 shots. All damage three. Well, damage two against yeah. me, but whatever. Ha <laughs> Take this Dreadnought. Fours to hit. Oh, oh look at all those threes. Ooh. That's quite a few that the smoke screen pulled out. Yeah, no, that was very, very good. Needing two to wound you, though. Okay, okay. That's four of them. It's strength 14. Holy no, it's strength 10, but it's plus one to wound because oh, of the Oh, because you hurt yourself. Yes. How many was that? That's four. Four of them, and that's all you've got. That's all he's got. Other uh, than close combat. Minus, but... Those minus three, so I get six up saves. So I... I could die to this. You could, but you do have a feel no pain as well. Yes, so I have to, you have to see sixes somewhere here. Yes. I prefer to see one or two of them right here. That's right. Okay, good. Already good. not dead. So but having six said damage. that, six damage is nothing to laugh at. Let's see nope. another couple sixes right here. Okay. Let's really make them okay. Okay, he's down to five. Takes, I can't, I can't takes five, that. he's down to three. Sorry, he's down to three, he's down to three. Yeah. These uh, sentinels, the armored sentinels, are gonna spend uh, their, uh, uh, stratagem because they can use guard strats because they're guardsmen um, to uh, shoot that guy. Actually, no, they don't because they're in a detachment that is not a guardsman detachment. So they're just going to shoot the dreadnought with their uh, plasma cannons. 2d3 plasma shots. Yeah. Pew, 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 pew. Uh, needing fives to hit because of your screens. You're not overcharging. One hit. Not overcharging because I don't want them to take their wounds. And on a three. One huh? at AP3. Okay. Just one damage, though. Six up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And six to ignore that one damage. Yep. Oh. And then the two hunter killers. Yeah. Ah, missed twice. Ha-ha. <laughs> uh, 
Well, I put the Dreadnought down, just down, but not dead yet. And with that, the Genes of the Occult Tyranid Onslaught has begun. Will the Space Marines escape the icy peaks? All right, I got a plan. Maybe it's a good one. Command phase, Chapter Master is going to look at the Dreadnought and just kind of gives that knowing nod. And the Dreadnought, just without any, any words, just turns. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using his ability to let him reroll all hits to allow him to be a boss. And then they're in their Aegis protocol, so they'll be able to move. And I'm not going to do the action to reprogram them because I need to be able to, to do other stuff. And, I, and they're in the way right now. So basically the chapter master just looks at the data stuff and commands him to get out of the way. So in the movement phase, these guys will hop the fence. And they're going to go fight some... Uh, Sentinels. They're going to hold off some Sentinels, yeah, we're hoping. I like it. And then right here, oh, see, everything's finicky, but we'll have these robots come around like this. I will advance the Chapter Master, mm -hmm. and he's going to go three. So he rushes over. Yeah, we've got movement for this. Yep. Picks up the bomb, comes back, and hops inside of the Land Raider. Ooh. So we'll put that on top of there just for cinematic effect. Yep. So the only real question is, I can't, okay, I know I can't assault this guy because he's up in the sky because I've given them those rules now, which is nice, but I think I, in order to protect my Land Raider, I think I need to get those Terminators out now so that they can hold off demolition crew right here. And then we just have to beeline it. I've already used my smoke screen though, which makes me rather uncomfortable, but it is what it is, right? Terminators will get out right here. We'll have some of them kind of hop over. We're going to lose a bit of movement thanks to this Aegis defense line, which is going to hopefully not make me fail this charge. And the Apothecary... Oh, he feels some sort of... Like, does he stay with the Chapter Master? No, he's going to get out. They're just going to hold off. They're going to go that way. No, the Apothecary is going to stay with the Chapter Master for now. Even though I desperately want him there to pick up a Terminator when he goes down. I think it's more important that I have another screen later on. And uh, this data smith is not welcome aboard my sacred land raider. So my land raider is just going to turn around and basically drive through here and end up after some finicking. Boom, boom, boom. Right about here. I know technically turning around makes him move further, but direction doesn't matter anyway, so let's make him look like he's driving the way he's going. And this dreadnought. I'm tempted to step back towards this way, but he'll just stay right here. Kind of hold this gap, and he'll be within 12 inches of here, because i got my heavy flame and multi-melt already, and in range. And this data smith will just sit around into the warmth and comfort of his two Castellan robots. Let's do some simple shooting. Yep. So a minus one to hit these guys, but this Dreadnought's not hurt at all, so he's out of ballistic skill and weapon skill of two up. Uh, so i got a multi-melt and heavy flamer. Multimelt is a little overkill, but no kill like overkill. That's right. So let's start with that. Hitting on threes. Rerolling because the chapter master nodded at him. He did. Oh, oh and he runs oh, out of he... ammo twice. Oh, the multimelt is out of ammo. <laughs> Heavy flamer. Yep. Two automatic hits, winning on threes. Minus one, so six ups. And you, got, you said you're bladed cog. Do you have the second the six up in one? Oh, yep. no, sorry. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the end one. One dead guy. Oh, click on the multi. We'll take some pot shots over here. Um, we'll fire the three bolters. We're yep. not going to fire a flamer. I don't want to risk running ammo, so we'll put a bolt pistol there as well. And threes to hit. And not bad. Very nice. And then we're looking at five to wound. Three wounds. I take three damage. Bloop. Yes, two left. Sorry, I only took two damage there. Yes, yeah. four remaining. Yeah. As much as I want to focus down that Herod and feel like it's important to just take out everything else and then hope the Herod doesn't ground my Land Raider. <laughs> so I'm in Melta range right here. So let's do, we're going to fire um, every, yeah, everything that way. Let's start the multi melted. They both hit. Nice. Lead on threes. Yeah, that's both wounds. You don't get saves against those. Nope. And then you don't have the cult rule. No. So, so just damage. Yeah, so we're looking at uh, D6 plus two. Yep. Oh, come on. So three? Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep that because I need okay. my reroll for something more important. And so the other one's just going to destroy the first one. 
And he blows up, doing a mortal wound to the other guy. Hooray! Hoorah! <laughs> Sorry, I got some other stuff to finish him off. We got the 2d6 auto hits with those two damage flamers. Nice. So six auto hits. So we got five wounds there. Yep. AP two. You got him. It doesn't blow matter. Up. No, it doesn't matter. He blows up. Oh, yeah. He did. He did not blow up. You just you just killed him. He's just very very dead. Okay. Castellan robots are being ordered to fire backwards at the squad of uh, jackals. Okay. We'll start with the Castellan phosphorus blasters. So they'll be hitting on fives because you are a skilled rider there. So we're just hoping for the best here. This. So these are strength six, so three's the wound. Yep. Ooh, only three of them, but they're two damage each. Minus one. Okay. That kills three bikes, or the big guy and one bike. Yep. Big guy and one bike. That's and they right. Got the heavy ones on their shoulders, which will also hit on fives. And then these will wound on threes. These are only one damage each. Oh, one. We get six up here. He's okay. We got one charge to try out. They're gonna charge here. Any Overwatch? Um, yes, actually. I'm going to Overwatch. Okay, so I'm gonna be using extra explosives <laughs> and Overwatch, Matthew. Yep. Okay. So here comes all the demo All charges. of the demo charges. That's five. <laughs> five be six shot. That's right. It's not okay. hits, it's shots. Oh, let's see, let's see. Hi-ya. Ooh, decent all right. amount. All right, all right. Decent That's amount. Average. It's That's not, average. It's not terrible, it's not terrible. I will say that I'm very excited to see if they can like nuke. Well, they have definitely have the potential being strength eight D three damage. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Okay. Okay, on sixes. Oh come on, man! <laughs> what are you doing? I know it's the last of the chapter, but come on! Five hits, yeah. twos to wound. <laughs> come on, come on, little guys. You know oh. what? I'm gonna spend my reroll. Oh, this. of course you will. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. So I've spent my reroll as well. Um, well and at least I cost you all your strategies. Okay, so well, you do have a couple of storm shields in there. Yeah, and then the cover, so it'll be plus two to their saves. Minus two plus two, so it's so still a two, two up save. Up. So hold on, I gotta do these two at a time. That's right. Three These are the ones that have them. Okay. <laughs> two up saves. Ah! Good, okay. good. Ah! Good. Oh, oh, look at that. They soak they it up it with up. the. <laughs> Can they make that charge? The Aegis defense two? line. Oh, yeah. They do. Boom. I still have to hit you with a flamer, though. Oh, sure. Yeah, go six hits. Oh, watch that kill like three of them. <laughs> or two of them, I guess. Well, you know, here we go, because you still have that two up save. That's true. Um, okay, so, so four of them. Three is the wound, okay. Four of them, yep. I might as well roll them all together because yeah. you can't kill them all. <gasps> Look at that. Fine. Look at that. They just, yeah, they they just, just tanked it. They, they just, just trounced tanked. through it. Oh my goodness. Terminator's I think, OP. Bye bye, jet bikes. Yes. And by, by jet bikes, I mean Jackos. Yes. Well, we'll pile in, and if you want me to roll it, I will. If you'd like to just remove them, you can do that um, as well. You can vote down in the comments. We'll wait the entire week that it takes <laughs> for you to tally. No, I'm just joking. Um, you I want you to roll it. I have okay, a six I'll roll up, it. I have a six up in okay. Marvel save. Okay. I'm just saying, if you want I could roll. I could roll really hot. Yeah, that's just fine. saying. Okay. Start with the Thunder Hammers. Mm hmm. Uh, I'm not going to use any stratagems. Okay. Because you're just, I don't, I don't respect you. <laughs> <laughs> or your jackals. Uh, so we're looking at fours, fours to hit. Okay. Minus one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Twos. Twos to wound. We're rolling something. Oh, come on. All right, so these are three damage apiece. Yeah. So, so four six of them. up them. Four of them. I'm going to do one on the big jackal. So two on the big quad. Well, you can squad. just roll them all and decide. Right? Two on the really quad. Well. Nope, but he's, he's going to die. And then two regulars. Nope. They're, they're dead you too. kill the ja this and two. And then lightning claws. There we go. Just have to get through six wounds here. Well, that's good. Well, I got ten more attacks with all my lightning claws. Yes, you do. Right. Because two and then lightning claw, lightning claw, mm -hmm. and then charge. Yes, okay. Lots Space of attacks. Rays. Lots of attacks. Threes to hit. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah. I was hoping you wouldn't hit them. Yeah, right. <laughs> um, now, these are only strength... Actually, strength hard. Strength four. They're only strength four. Okay. Yep. So four is to move. Reroll. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, I'm, uh oh, I like, I uh -oh. like those odds. Ooh. Oh, you're alive. You're alive. That's five of them. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Six up in bombs. Nope, one's alive with one wood. Okay. <laughs> See? I stand See? corrected. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> I stand corrected. Okay, so power pick. One hit. Not needing five. Oh, nothing. Yeah, that's right. Uh, are you done? Is that your turn? Uh, what else have we got? I'm gonna roll his morale. Ha! He dies. Yeah. And by dies, he means 
Ah, uh, run away! Okay, Terminators. I'm gonna have one like. Oh, I owe you, I owe you morale here as well. Four to um, three is fine. Yeah, yeah. fine. Cool. And that is turn number one for the Space Marines and the Mechanicum. How do you feel? Well, I feel okay. I've cleared out the side chaff. Yep. The back chaff has nowhere to go. Yep. And it can't catch my Land Raider. But one good volley from that... Uh, and it's, and it's dead Land Raider, and then you're on foot. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Now, if it lands, that could be scary too. Because you know, my Terminators are all the way over here. Mm -hmm. But I anticipated it not landing, which is why I was okay the Terminators coming here. But oh. I'd rather that demolition charges were they could have one shot the land raider easily on your turn. Yep, you needed so. to get rid of them. So, yeah. so with that, the Tyranids take their second turn. Mm, releasing the gargoyles. Oh yes, this is how it's gonna release them. <laughs> ah, caca! <laughs> they just did their movement. Caca! Caca! Can I drive through them? <laughs> nope. I would totally drive through them. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> Tank shock is not a thing it anymore, should be Matthew. A thing. I thought we were playing from the sixth edition rules of the other book. Yeah, yeah, we were. Oh shoot, we forgot to, to see what the environmental thing is. Oh. Uh, aha! We turn. forgot for your <laughs> turn. I'm oh, just kidding. Ah, it's Geo Steph. Okay, before anything happens. Two. Because we forgot Matthews. Matthew, you need to roll first before I roll mine. Alright, I'll just say lightning strike on the guard. On the guard. <laughs> it's a different one. Four. Second table. So Tectonic house. shift. Oh, okay. Um, all non-vehicle units must take a pending test. <laughs> That's not difficult a... ground. Difficult ground. So okay. the whole it, all non-vehicle units are difficult ground. Oh, you know, I basically did yeah, that. Yeah, you were everybody, difficult everybody there. They over. just moved a little bit, and it was non-vehicle. Their vehicle, they moved up. So it literally turned out to okay. be the same. Perfect. I'm glad it didn't matter. I rolled a two. Treacherous footing. Place a counter next to D3 terrain pieces. These are dangerous terrain. Ooh. They become dangerous. Okay, D3 pieces of terrain. Okay, one piece of terrain. I'm gonna make mm, this piece of terrain dangerous. <laughs> it's dangerous now, you better watch out. It'll do mortal to you if you stare at it. Okay, so movement phase. It's staying in the sky. Oh yes, it's not, it doesn't need to go down just yet. <laughs> Bringing its wounds with it. Mm. Oh, it's so pretty. So pretty, Matthew. Look how pretty it is. It is a nice model. It is. Well, I don't know if I showed them, but they moved up and did that. I don't remember if I did. Okay, uh, shooting phase, Matthew. I'm gonna do a, we're gonna mark the dreadnought. Naturally. Okay. Plus one to hit it now. Yep, and I'm going to lob a anti-tank grenade at it, because I can lob Demolition at, least, charge. at least one charge at you. Yeah. Four, six. Oh, six shots. Yeah. With plus one hit, that's not too bad. That no? is actually what you normally do, except you usually have the strategy to get on this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hiya. Threes to hit. No okay. smoke screen anymore. Nope. And threes to wounds. Okay. Oh, three of them. Three. Minus two, so five mm -hmm. up saves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, the oh, one gets through. D6 damage. D minus one. D3 damage. It's actually minus three, but yes, D3 damage. Okay, D3, so D3 minus one. D3 minus one. Hiya! Oh, oh, come on! Take your two. But I'm gonna die! <laughs> Sixes to not die? Dreadnought. I die. Oh. Dude, does he does... blow up? Thus ending my other dreadnought. Okay, campaign wise? Oh, I saw that six teetering on the, yeah. <laughs> on the it brink. Close. It was. He's gonna shoot at the data smith. Snipe! Pew pew! Hits. Pew pew! It's a, wound. it's a wound. Yep. Uh, ah, you're okay. I, yeah, because I'm yep. two up save normally. Okay, the, of course, we are using instinctive behavior because you, not going to spoil anything, what happened last mission means, if people didn't check it out, means that I am shooting with instinctive behavior and I don't have any synapses. You don't have any synapses anyway. anyways. <laughs> so minus one because I'm not the nearest target. But I will be taking D3 mortals. <laughs> I take one. Down to 11. So you slowly kill yourself, I see. That's right. To get plus one to wound on the Land Raider. So I yeah. am hitting on fours. Okay, you Just ready? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Decent hard, amount. Okay, Decent yeah, amount. That's, that's average. Yeah. A little below average, so I'll, I have to strength, be happy with that, right? Strength 10, so needing threes with plus one to wound. So needing twos. twos. These are AP3. Okay, okay. So that would be <laughs> five at AP3. <laughs> oh, these are three damage a piece, they? Aren't they are three. 
Ranger. <laughs> Goodbye, Land Raider. No! That's oh. 15 damage. Oh my goodness. Goodbye, gracious. Land Raider. No, he's got 16 wounds. Oh, he got 16? Yeah, yeah, they have 16. Oh, he has he one does. wound remaining. Yeah, he has one wound remaining. <laughs> Which I should have totally used the plus one damage to make sure that that would die. You did. You did use the plus one. No, I used the plus one to wound. Oh, the plus, the one, plus damage one damage strat, strat, strat to make yeah, it like good. super good. But that's not gonna happen. I will. I will shoot you with ten gargoyles. Yeah, that could finish them off. I could. You want to scorch bug it? To get yeah, one? let's scorch bug it. Yeah, why not? Right? Let's do it. These are burning hot. Let's do flesh it. Boar super shot. flesh bores. Hitting on fours. fours. There you then go. Fours to wound because of the scorch. No, bugs. no, you're T eight. So oh, yeah, fives. yeah, yeah, yeah. So fives instead of sixes. Yeah. Oh, no. Yes. No. One, well, two still, plus I still, save. I still have a reroll. Oh, oh reroll. Oh. Reroll. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Go, gargoyles. It Although, three inches I think now. I only hit, oh, you only get the minus one to hit if you're like in combat or something. I think that's how that works. For what? Yeah, for the gargoyles poison thingy. They have to hit you in combat, and then you minus one to hit mm. with their blinding poison or whatever that's called. Okay, with that, that's it. I'm just trying to slow you down, and the, the Tyranids are just hunting. They don't know why that lander is moving away. They're just hunting over here. Sure. But with that, we dive into Space Marine turn number two, and the seismic, 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 seismic chart six. six. Whatever that is. Ooh, an acid geyser. No. Yeah. <laughs> Great column of boiling acid. Oh, but I get to choose, right? Fourth, choose a single point on the battlefield. Uh, all models within D6 inches of that point take two strength two, take an strength two AP3 hit. So all models, so I guess the yeah. unit that the models. And it would be AP3 is like a power, so it would be... Yeah, that's like minus two or minus three. Yeah, minus, min, minus three at least. Okay, sure, yeah. sure, sure. Because it's like, it ignores power armor. At that point, it would ignore power armor. Yeah, yeah. So I'm more like the AP, weapons AP3. that it was on. AP3 was typically on like, um, plasma, right? Like a plasma gun. No, plasma was AP2. So it's probably more like AP2. It doesn't yeah. really matter because you're going to have involves anyways. Oh, you're going to do it on the, over right there? Right there. Oh. Well, yeah, well, you know, well you know, you're right. I should hit him. Or the gargoyles, right? <laughs> or him. But it is only strength two, so. That's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah. All right. We'll spew it all over the gargoyles. Okay. See if we can clear a path. Yep. So I'm gonna put it back here. And it's on a model to model basis here so too. Six inches. Ooh, that's a 12 inch bubble. Didn't hit me. Thank goodness. <laughs> so I hit six of them. It's on model to model too. So each yep. each model would take it. Right, but we just wanna put it on the unit to make it easier. Yeah, we can do that. That's up to you. On, on fives, do it. <laughs> yeah, okay, so otherwise. So three, three wounds, of them go down. Right. And you can just choose the sure. three from I'll these take six. That one. And that one and that one. There you go. Yeah, make it hard for you. <laughs> They're gonna die anyway. They're just they're just there to stop you from moving. So we're going to teleport Homer with these guys. So voop, and at the end of my next move phase and the reinforcements, they'll, they'll get back on the table. Yeah, they have to come in within six inches of friendly unit. No, character. Character friendly. specifically. Okay, cool. Or in my deployment. Or in your deployment. So hopefully it'll be a character. There. Yeah. <laughs> but I have two turns to get out to do it, right? Correct. Oh, I don't want to get out because there's a Harrodin flying around. Oh, I don't know. You have to get that bomb to the edge, you have to get it off the board. It, I it's know, but so there's, close, there's, but so far there's away. There's stuff in the way, otherwise it can get out, oh, move I, six in advance. Oh, I know, the hive mind, the hive mind is bright. It's only move three inches of the land oh, raider. I just knocked it over, sorry. <laughs> sorry, little guy. <laughs> well, the my, acid geyser made a, made a bit of room for you. So the chapter master is gonna get out right about here-ish. They got spiky bits that are making yep. it hard. Um, I am... He's got the bomb with him, I, I would Yeah, hope. he does. I'm gonna move six. I don't want to advance, but I do want to get off next turn. I'm 16 inches away. Yep. And so if I advance, then I can get off next turn if I don't die. But the problem is, he won't have any protection until next turn. Oh, but if I stay in the land raider, the land gonna blow up and I might just roll ones and he might die anyways. Mm-hmm. Dude, I don't know. Definitely don't interesting. Know. Dude. Yeah, I got advance. Okay. Nicely done. <laughs> there he goes. <laughs> he's bringing the bomb I with him. I can at least put the apothecary closer to him. So the apothecary, yeah, he's got his bomb. He's just rushing off with his bomb in his arm. <laughs> the apothecary will get out, same spot, move up the six, and um, also do a, a run. So two inches. Oh, sorry, in the, the future of the entire chapter. <laughs> he's gonna stand like this, so 
At least he'll be the closest to the Harridan. So if you want to shoot the Chapter Master, then you'll be at minus one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> and the Land Raider can only move three inches now. There's like a really loud whiny noise. And yep. It's just like really annoying to hear. Like <laughs> as it moves forward. That is, you're right. You know what? You're is right. That, that is a very annoying. Noise. <laughs> it's very annoying sound. <laughs> My robots will come this way. Yep. And. And so will the data smith, I guess. Uh, tactical Marines, I'm sorry guys, I don't know what to do with you. You can't assault that guy. So they're gonna throw grenades way high on the air and, and shoot flamers, which apparently are really good at taking out aircraft. They definitely are. Who knew that flamers were anti-aircraft weapons? But they are. We are going to fire the two flamers and the multi-melta into the Harridan. Yep. And the assault cannon is gonna be used to help clear out these gargoyles. Assault cannon! Uh, we're hitting on fives now, because we are at the lowest bracket. Yeah, well, here we are. A couple of hits on the gargoyles. Yeah. Um, That's a roll of wound. Oh, yeah. Gonna oh, you're going to use it on that one? Yeah, because I really want to clear Two them, them out. Two of them die, although I guess it's just going to... Flip that. Yeah, I should, probably should have saved that. Multi-melter. Into? To the Harridan. Harridan. Cool. So that'll be on sixes. Correct. Oh, nope. Then there. But then 2d6 auto hits with the flamers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm going to use my salamander stratagem. Okay. To have them fire. I think I can use it on him. Let me check. Yeah. My, my flame craft. We'll see. Yeah. yeah. Salamander unit. It doesn't say infantry. Nice. Just or auto any, six. Hits. Any kind of flame weapon. Oh, beautiful. It does auto six, and I will use fires of battle. A salamander's model when it fires at the flame or melta. Yep. Does mortal wounds on a four plus. I like it. So it's 12 automatic hits. Whoosh! It goes into the air, super high in the sky. It doesn't make any sense, but whatever. I gotta Toughness use, eight. I gotta use every everything in my in my power to do so. Hold on, and I'm gonna use Crucible of Battle, strategy in the shooting or fight phase to get plus one to wound. You don't need it because you're in tactical doctrine. Oh no, you don't get doctrines because you're it's a mixed army. Today. Well, you've been. Am I? Oh yeah, I guess yeah. I'm tactical now. So, but yeah, I'm not used. So to plus this. one to wound as well. Is that yeah. yeah? Is that any model can do that too? Is this Salamander's unit? That's cool. Shoots or fights. That's amazing. So we're looking at fives to wound. I'm looking, uh, I'm, I'm looking desperately. No, no, right. fours to wound with the plus one to wound. Oh yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. fours to wound. That's what I meant. Fives to wound normal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With so some fours mortals wound there. And, and fours also do mortal wounds maximum. Beautiful. Right? And their damage. And I can. Very, I've already done my reroll. Very nice. So three mortal wounds, and then you've got nine that. saves That's to incredible. make. That's incredible. Good job. A lot of wounds. Five up saves. Okay, five ups from the Harridan. Ooh. Oh, oh my goodness. So he takes 12, 13, 14, 17 damage. Jeez, that's actually, he's down to 14 wounds. He's down to 14 wounds now. Still counts as having 28. 28. So he's not bracketed. But... 14 wounds, woo! Oh man, am I gonna actually kill him? Yeah, look at that. That was very nicely done, Let's Mr. See. Land Raider. Woo! Incredible. Tacticals will um, keep your guns. They, they, they're they inspired by that Land Raider, so they're gonna fire straight up and throw a crack grenade. I like it. <laughs> Don't think it's. I'm sorry. It's <laughs> <Just> like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like boom! And it takes out an aircraft. Doesn't make any sense, man. Four is to hit with the crack grenade, because, you know, it's really far away. Oh, I missed. Okay, well, there you go. D6 auto hits with the flamer. Yep. Uh, five Nicely auto hits. Done. Nicely done. And these will wound on fives. Yep. No, six, because I'm T8. Oh, right, right, right. But that's still really good. I'll do a reroll. I'll do a reroll. Ooh, very okay, nice, three very wounds. Nice. Uh, threes. I take one hey, more damage. Hey, hey, hey. Down to 13 bolters. remaining. Couple bolters. Yep. Uh, two hits. Ooh, one, one more. Wound. Very nice. Nope. Okay. It's down to 13 remaining uh -huh. from that. Well, technically counts as 26. Yes, yes. Okay. Because of the super symbio something Derby something. Symbiotic. Yeah. Well, my robots here will fire everything into him as well. Yep. We might as well try to... If I can bring him down to eight wounds, he hits his first bracket because of the Dermic Symbiosis. So I will do the Wrath of Mars um, stratagem because it's we're using the Mars uh, the thingy, forge roll. And so that is any sixes to wound to a mortal wound in addition. Yep. Maximum of six. Okay, the Harridan's taking some damage we're as... You know, the acid geyser has given you like a tiny little crack area to like move through. We're trying, we're Amazing. trying. So we got fives to hit because you are up in the air. Yep. Nothing to help us, eh? No. Pew Yikes. Guns. Only two. two. And then we're looking at fives to wound. I don't really want sixes. So that's a wound. That's, that one's minus one, two damage. Okay, so four. He's okay. Ugh. And then we got the ones on the top. 
fines to hit. Oh, this totally failed. Let's at least get a six here. Okay, that's a mortal wound at least. And a six. And it's minus two to the save. Oh, it's Cool. Down wow. to one wound. 12 wounds remaining, so still not technically bracketed. No. <laughs> that's actually really cool. The data smith will just fire a pot shot. Oh, I've got my flamer as well, but yep. yeah, let's, let's do the pot shot hits, twos to kill something. There goes a gargoyle. Plop. And I did advance with my chapter master, but the flamer part is an assault weapon, so yep. I will fire that. Four auto hits on those gargoyles. Does not run out of ammunition. Thank goodness. Threes to wound, so I killed, two, well, six up saves on two of them. Nah, oh yeah, because there's no... There was no AP on it that. It is a mixed army. Nope. So two of them die. You got him. Pop, pop. That should allow all the run unless you roll a one. Woo! Okay, so you almost got it. You almost killed it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think, you know what? I'm going to charge those gargoyles with that land raider. Okay. Because I'm going to make the charge no matter what. Yep. Because I'd like, I don't think I'll kill them, but at least like them to be tied up so they can't get any pot shots off of anything else. Yep. And then I'll get my one attack. Well, no, I charged. Two attacks. That is right. Uh, I missed. Oh, wait. Even at one Sorry, I, I missed, nice. but it was D3 attacks. Yeah, so no. Okay. Yeah, 6 D6 D3. Hmm, that's neat. Okay, so with that, we move into the next tier in a turn. Well, let's do morale. Morale. Well, I get, I, you know what? I'm going to get them to fight you first. I guess you can do that. Did. Yeah, they didn't hit you. Yeah, that's good. So you know, my Because I only have one wound. And will the gargoyles hold? One runs, and a one or a two, the other one runs too. Yeah, it's very, very close, very, very close. No, he stays. St sticks around to be annoying. No, no go away! So this is gonna hover now. We did do smash of this. He literally just goes like right on the edge. Stay there. away. Well, I tried. Yum, yum. <laughs> Okie dokie. But then the, the, well actually before that happens, he's gonna drop down his gargoyles to go kill some of those guys. Uh, these guys are gonna just move up like this. Yay, go get them. I like it. Kaka! They're just gonna get out here and be yeah, annoying. That's right, let's go try kill some sparse marines. Well, I'm gonna get the jackal alphas to point at your land raider. And the first thing he's gonna do is shoot at your land raider. With a sniper rifle. He hits. That's a hit. Oh, come on, mortal wound. Yay, yeah, mortal what? wound. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> well, I got, Does, oh, wait, don't I have something against mortal wounds? Uh, maybe, maybe armor of contempt. I don't know if that's still a thing. Yeah, I think so. Hold on. Oh, okay. There might be a okay. armor of contempt. <laughs> I ignore mortal wounds in a five up. Oh, do you ignore the mortal? And then you have to take your save on top of that. Oh, no, you got him. Matter. Do, okay, big, big roll here. Does it Big blow roll. Up? Does it blow up? Or will you be able to salvage it? Oh, Does it not will. blow up? Oh, that's good. <laughs> the Space Marines will have a Land Raider for another day. Good job, Jackal Alphas. Good job. It shoots the gas thing like there's like a little. <laughs> hey, look, just hit that little red spot. Yeah, there you go. That's how he did it. Okay, over here. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. It was engaged in mm -hmm. combat. I'm assuming that you fell I'm back assuming back. that that's why that gargoyle is not there. He fell back. There you go. <laughs> He just, I got excited. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have 10 little gargoyle things over here. Shooting into space marines. I will um, do the- Plus one save. Of whatever. Nice. Because I have nowhere else to care about. Uh, one save. One save, two up. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, it worked. You are okay. Okay. Um, got some shotguns. I do. And well, demolition charge. It's just one demolition charge. So one demo charge. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm out of my Aegis protocol now. <laughs> You're not out oh, of Oh, no, no, I still my Aegis protocol. Yeah, yeah. Uh, four set, though. And T7, so three. Three? They're AP3. We did find that out. Yeah, so five up in Volms. Yep. If I roll six, I can bounce back. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, you bounce one back. Mortal wound back to you. 2d3 to me. Oh, no. And one I don't D3. think it bounces a thing to you. No, no, it just bounces a mortal wound back. Yeah. You take three damage. Okay. And then have two little shotguns. No, three. Yeah, two little shotguns. Pew, 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 pew. Two hits. And nothing. Nothing there. And one has taken a wound. Uh-oh. He's probably gonna hurt. Now, of course, we got the big Harridan. Uh, Mr. Harridan, what shall we do with Take you? Take D3 mortal wounds. Well, that's the first thing he's gonna do. Three. 
Oh, oh no! Yeah. <laughs> One wound away from bracketing. That's still top bracket. <laughs> because of the dermat. Because uh, of the dermat, yeah. the super symbio stuff. Symbiosis. Symbiosis. Whatever, I don't know. Symbiosis. Um, he <gasps> feels he feels hit fancy and excited, and he's gonna do one gun to each of the characters. So six and six. Uh, eight and eight. Eight and eight. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> However, that one would be minus one because he's it's further not, away so than the than the chapter master. Oh, well, if you kill both characters, my terminators mm. can't come over there. Well, they can come in your deployment zone. I know, but that's over there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Let's try and do. Um, the chapter master first on fours, because I'm still. Oh, <laughs> well, <laughs> and I've already used my reroll. Yeah, you have. It's his uh, seven wounds. Seven at minus two or minus three, sorry. So I got my four up in vom. That's right. I've got so if two of these get through, he's dead. Ooh. Well, kind of. Kind of. Oh, because you can get him back yeah, up to life, I can't you? Can't no, you? Yeah. you can't, you salamander. Oh, oh, he's alive! My goodness, goodness gracious! Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. He just holds the bomb out front. Tick, 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 tick. <laughs> oh no, he lived. Okay. Oh wait, wait. And I had a, oh. I had a six up feel no pain on top of that. Oh, the apothecary's nearby. That's right. Oh no, oh, he doesn't even take like... the full damage. Yeah. <laughs> take that, seven hundred point heritage. <laughs> I'm a space marine. <laughs> How does it feel to play Space Marines, Matthew? I don't know. Ask me when we're done. <laughs> okay, and then against the Apothecary, needing threes against the Apothecary. Yes. Okay, yes, okay. Yes. Not as good as the other one. That's okay. Needing... The Apothecary is much easier to kill. Four, minus three. Yeah, so we're and up these? to a six up save on the Apothecary. Uh-huh. No involves there. Yep. Okay, so that's 12 damage. Well, he's got a six up uh, ignoring wounds. That's right. Can you roll a bunch of dances? Mm, not today. All right, so let me consider. I have a stratagem. Okay, he's rise gonna from come the back. Ashes. Yeah, we'll see what happens. But it's only on a four up, and yeah, I'm gonna use rise from the ashes on him because you we can still we can still charge a chapter master and kill him. Yep. So I need another character for the terminators to come in close to, kind of. I don't know if it'll work because you might be too close to me for it to work, anyways. Um, so I only have one wound remaining, and I technically do this at the end of the phase, but you're yep, done, right? Yep, I'm done. I'm done the phase. So four plus. Return that model to play with one wound remaining as close as possible to where it was. So, same place. He comes back! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> with I one wound remaining. The <laughs> there you go. Oh no! Okay, well now the Harridan's gonna try to charge both of your characters. Have I used my Overwatch yet? Uh, no. No, you haven't really charged me yet. No, I haven't charged you with anything. Well, I might as well Overwatch. Okay. Um, I'm gonna start with the Harridan, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. But it doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll do the combi flamer. Okay. I don't think I have anything to help me with this because I've already used all the good stuff. Might as well shoot with so, both things. So let's start with the polter profile. Okay. Six is to hit. Okay, no. Nope. And then D6 auto hits with the flamer. Yes. Not so, out of ammo. Nope. Six is to wound. Uh, fives, because you're. Oh no, sixes, yeah. yeah and on, one I reroll. I get a reroll. I get a reroll. Let's bracket you. Come on, bracket! Bracket, darn it! No! You're not bracketed! <laughs> How far do I go? If I I already used my reroll, Matthew. I know. So if I roll low, he's gonna get away. And then I'll run away. This is like game changing right here. Ah, yeah. That is oh. not low. <laughs> okay, I've got a plan. Well, the plan is to stay alive with your six damage attacks. Yeah, no, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> your rerolls to uh, the gargoyles are instinctively gonna charge your guys as sure. well. Technically, I should remind you, that Harridan had a minus two to charge. Did he? Because he was charging something that wasn't the nearest. Oh. But you rolled an eleven, so it doesn't okay. Matter. Well, that's that because that, of the instinctive behavior. There would have been well. a little more tension there if I remembered that. Mm. But then you rolled high, and it didn't matter. It didn't matter at all, Matthew. No, not at all. And they're gonna just jump in here. Sure, oh. whatever. I'm not worried about them. No, you better. You should be worried about them. Yeah. I am going to attack with the Harridan, though. You sure? Yes. You want to attack with the Gargoyles first? No. But I might interrupt the Gargoyles. No. <laughs> and this little Gargoyle that is cracking is going to charge your Apothecary. Rawr, it does as well. Nah. That actually might matter. I only have one wound left on the Apothecary. That's right. Black. OK. Um, well, the Harridan is um, is pretty excited about uh, attacking everything into your chapter master. It's five attacks. All right. Okay. I don't even know what this does. I know it does 60. Six damage. Uh, hits on threes. 
Yep, because you're not still... bracketed. <laughs> Somehow. And I have <laughs> nothing to help me. Eh? No, 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 no. Chapter Master got nothing. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. so just threes to hit. And it's strength eight. Threes and twos. Yeah, no, it's actually strength ten. Oh. So well, still twos. Threes and twos. Threes and twos. Hiya! Okay, okay. Okay. Twos to wound. Triple one. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay. but each of these are six damage, man. They are six. <laughs> the apothecary's not going to save me here. Okay. So six, uh, so four up in bombs. No rerolls. Come on, chapter master of the Scions of Prometheus, face me. And... He's oh, dead. Twelve. twelve. Okay, I'll roll twelve dice. <laughs> You, you better roll those 12 dice. Yeah, yeah, sixes to ignore. Yep. I've got to roll 10 sixes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nope. No, nope, I rolled nope. average. No. Nope. Well, I will use only in death those yep. duty end. You're going to attack me, are you? That I, it can fight after the attack and models is finished making an attack. So immediately it fights you back. Correct. Maybe I can. Okay, so I got five attacks. I actually failed to remember that I had an extra wound on him from Iron Resolve, and it's only six up ignoring wounds. Yeah, wouldn't have and actually... A, and a couple extra toughness too, yeah. but you rolled ridiculous and I would have died anyways. So I've got five attacks to try to at least bracket you. Yep. Hitting you on twos. Oh, come on. Really? I can't even have that? And then I'm wounding you on fours, I believe. Yeah, Your T8. toughness is eight. And I'm strength eight. I got nothing. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Strength eight. I hit the reroll one of them. Oh, come on! No bracketing here. What I'm gonna eat look? you alive. Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. Okay. Would you like to interrupt? Yes, with the apothecary. Oh, very nice. He's gonna kill that gargoyle. Is he? Yeah, because honestly, you're gonna kill him with your one attack. <laughs> I just know it. So, you little, can't tell me this is a bad oh move. God. No, no, it's a great move. <laughs> it's a great, awesome I would, move. I would totally. Spectacular. I would totally do it again Four as well. Four attacks. Yeah. Hitting on threes. Come on! Oh, no! Come on! <laughs> Hold on, I got a special weapon. No, it's just... Oh, he gets another attack with his yep. chain sword. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so two hits. Nice. Wounding on threes, no save. So it's minus one. Okay, now okay. I can re-roll one of those. Reroll one wound? Why? He's dead. Oh, it, what AP is? Oh, it's a Stardust chain sword. They've got special chain swords. I got it, I got it, I got it. <laughs> special chain swords. Who remembers special chain swords? Okay, so my gargoyles are going to swing at you. Let's do this. Um... Because I'm going to try and get you to minus one to hit me, which will be exciting. Right? That's how that works. Hitting on fours. Yeah. And wounding on fives. One armor save on your tactical marines. Just one? Ah, three up. Mm hmm. I'm fine. I don't care about cool. your poisons. I'm going to punch you back in the face. So I'm going to hit you back. Okay. Regular guys on threes. Uh, you do get extra attacks, don't you? Yeah. They charge you? Attack. Two attacks each. Oh, okay. One. Okay. Oh, because it's not a full five man, it's a four man. Yeah. Yeah. And so you should have eight. Eight attacks minimum. No, there's three guys. Is there five guys in there? There's four guys right there. Yeah, so I got three. Oh, because you have a Thunder Hammer, thunder hammer as well. Coming. So five non Thunder Hammer hit wounds. Mmm. On sixes. So four, four of them go down. And okay. now three Thunder Hammers hit on fours. Wait on two. To on kill two. Two, yeah, two more. Ah, two more go down. I owe you morale. And Actually, anything but a one, and they're right. I'm gonna fight twice with them. No, <laughs> you're not allowed to do that. <laughs> yes, I, yes, I am. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> I want him to eat you up, Apothecary. You need a new codex to nom, stop nom, this nom, guy. Nom, nom. <laughs> and he's not even bracketed. He's not even bracketed. <laughs> <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Well, that's four wounds that uh, I get a six-up save against. Okay, that's, I'm just gonna roll this three times. Nope, I'm gonna roll it once. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yum. oh, there yum. goes my hope of getting that yum. relic off of there. Yum, 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 yum. But now he is no longer airborne. He is on the ground. Yeah. And I owe you morale over here. Yeah, that's uh, a fail. They fail. And there's four more bodies in there. Low half strength. Two, Two more, more disappear. Arr. Okay. Your chapter master is down, Matthew. Uh, Your apothecary is down. The banner of ages has been knocked over in the icy peaks. And now the Terminators will arrive to um, not Some, much else. Something, something, yeah, something. Something, something, Terminators teleport. Okay, so we have the seismic hazard, hazard thingy. Four. Four, tectonic shift. 
all non-vehicle units uh, must take a pinning test. Which so has weird terrain is difficult terrain. Yeah, if you fail your your leadership test, it's difficult terrain basically. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, M, it's good. He's okay. And the big guys, they're also they're okay. Good. And they're stuck anyways. They're so stuck they're in they're combat. Stuck. Yep. And then they're fine. Then they're fine. in your turn anyways. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so Data Smith. There he goes. He's gonna move up. They're gonna move up with him. Yep. And then we're going to teleport arrive. the Terminators. Deployment zone is 12 inches basically from where that data smith was. We actually measured it. There's just enough room we can kind of basically put them. right here. And nine There's inches little... away. Uh oh. Well, from him, it's going to be a 10 inch charge, unfortunately. Well, if those Terminators come through here, they could save the day. The, the... That's, that's the plan. Because if I take them to Harrodin, then mm -hmm. I'm pretty much good to go. You ain't stopping me. But, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Shooting, let's do four pistols. Yep. Well, you know what? I'll do the one protocol thingy where I can turn a flamer into a pistol weapon. Yep. So that flamer will do three auto hits. Nice. Wound on three, so two wounds, six up saves. Oh, you're gonna make me roll the rest. Okay. <laughs> Threes to hit with the other ones. Out, oh, re-roll, re-roll, re That's another wound. Here you got him. Get lost. Blow. All the gargoyles have gone down and now it's only the mega gargoyle. And some GC lookout. Yeah. We're gonna fire everything into him, obviously. Of course. We'll start with the gamma pistol. <laughs> oh wait, they're Mars. They yes. get to re-roll. I've yes. been forgetting that. They get to re-roll. Oh, that's still a miss. Cool. Then we got all the phosphor stuff firing up into the sky. Uh, it's not minus one to hit anymore, remember that. Oh that's right. So yeah. four is to hit. Yep. Oh wait, so did that dance my hit then? Hold on, I rolled a two. Yeah, I know he still misses. He's okay. threes to hit. Alright, so they're gonna be hitting on fours. This is with the two damage ones, so I will use my reroll here. Reroll to hit. Ooh, that's pretty good. That was not bad. Better than trying to hit it when it was in the sky. Five's the wound. Uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Five. Five of them. Five of them. Okay. Minus one, two damage. Yeah. Sorry, Harry. So four damage. Yeah. Uh, more eight okay. damage. Right. Two damage each. Yeah. So four damage. Yeah. So. It's only minus one. Oh, it's only minus one. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. The other one's minus two. You have successfully... I finally bracketed. Bracketed him. Not fully bracketed. No. But partially bracketed. <laughs> we'll get it there. We'll get it there. He's down to five wounds remaining. And then we got the shoulder-mounted cannons yep. hitting on fours, wounding on fives as well. One wound. This is minus two, one damage. So there's one more damage. Bring down down to four. four. Does that put him in his final bracket? I believe it I does. It as eight wounds. I believe it does. Eight wounds. Yes, one to nine wounds remaining. Oh. Weapon skill and blister skill of five up. Final bracket. Oh, we'll do this. <laughs> We're doing it. <laughs> and then we'll charge. Okay. Data Smith. Oh. Want Overwatch? Uh, oh, I do have the Overwatch, don't I? Yeah, I don't think you No, no, you used it. I did. Charge I did. Terminators. Yeah, yes. Yeah. I do not have an Overwatch. <laughs> Eleven. Oh, you know what? He's going to come around this way. He's going to go get can, the bomb. He can carry the bomb That's away. his baby. The chapter master totally took... It's like the FBI shows up. <laughs> this is our investigation yeah, we got this now. now. <laughs> our robots can charge. Okay. More to get out of the way of the... Uh, now, you did knock him, but you did need a nine to get in with the Terminators. The Terminators were ten. Was they it ten? ten? Oh. Because yeah. I had to stay within 12 inches of where it was. Oh, okay. So Makes they need sense. a ten-inch charge. Big money. Oh, oh I did it! No! Oh! No, Matthew, they'll, why? They'll scoop up the chapter master's remains as they go. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. No. Oh, we did it. No. You've already used your interrupt. Did you already use an interrupt? I have not. Okay, then the Terminators are going to go first. <laughs> Desperately. Are they really? Oh, yes. dear me. And um, I think, I no, I've already used, okay, so all of them at one. We'll get in. Yep. I don't think I have any stratagems left to use. I think I already did. You burnt almost all of them. Did I use the plus one strength stratagem already? Uh, plus one to wound. There's a plus one strength stratagem. Oh, I know. I don't think you did. That was last game. So I'll use their plus one strength stratagem. Cool. That way their strength eight, Thunder Hammer becomes strength nine. Yep. And can wound you on threes. Yep. And then we're gonna wall up you, I think, I hope. <laughs> Six attacks with Thunder Hammers. Okay. Fours to hit. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Threes to wound. Threes to wound now. Okay. Re -roll. I'm gonna re-roll one of these. Yep. Okay, so these are minus two, three damage. So five up. Oh, three, damage. three damage. He's down to one wound. <laughs> Lightning claws. That's one left. <laughs> Lightning claws. <laughs> uh, the toughest birdie in all of the land. 
10 attacks with Lightning Claws. Hitting on threes. These are strength five now, so they're winning on fives. Rerolling. Oh, hey, come uh -oh. on. Uh oh. Don't uh -oh. do this to me. Uh -oh. Only three of them. Oh. AP three, two on these as well. Yeah. So fives. Oh, you oh, got him. Wait. On a six, he explodes and does D6 mortal wounds. Hey, I'll take it. Him. I'll take it. You can't kill everything with that. Hiya! No. The oh, Harridan the Harridan. goes down. You oh. can look at how happy he is removing him from the table. That was like a, that was a box fight if I've ever seen one. <laughs> Holy cow. Oh, uh, okay. So with that, the Space Marines, I, there's no way I can stop him. No. They will be getting the bomb and running off the table. However, they did suffer some serious casualties yeah, that might actually come and hurt the um, hurt the uh, them in the long run. So the uh, Land Raider, cool, cool, cool. There's those two. There we go, the Land Raider, the, yeah, the Chapter Master, the Apothecary, and there, and of course the Vanguard veterans. Okay. So, uh, they lose a model. But they might lose a sergeant. They might lose a sergeant. So, say if one is a sergeant. Okay. No. So, not a sergeant. So, not the sergeant. Okay. You are roll 2d6 on the apothecary. And only four wounds. That's right. He so will he's be down a wound. Minus one wound and minus one to hit next game. So, he's at six wounds. Correct. He's a little tougher. He, is, he didn't become a chapter master for nothing. Well, but he will lose now. a wound. And he'll be minus one to hit. His, Next yeah, weapon skill and ballistic skill will be threes now. The Dreadnought, eight wounds for him. He's Ooh, good. He is okay, but he will be minus one to hit next game. Just for the game? Just for the game. Okay. And this Land Raider. Uh, I can't roll. You can't roll higher anything than 16. Higher, than, higher than anything at all. He's just going to lose a wound. Okay. Yes, because he is tough. Permanently. And that's it. I'm just waiting for him to explode. So you have added a few more things to your... Right? Yeah, I got some I got some buddies. Got some reinforcements here, which is good. And a bomb. And the bomb. Okay, let's see what happens. Make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the campaign, Matthew! Yeah, it's next mission's in the vault right now. That's right. So excited. It's gonna be super, to super the, fun. The whole narrative campaign and Oh Whoa. my goodness. I hope you had fun with that one. That was fun. That was I thought I had, I thought I lost. <laughs> and the Germans made that long bomb charge. Yeah, otherwise that was the great. Herodin would have had another volley. <laughs> Actually maybe the Data Smith would have yeah, tied him. Well up. he's the only power fist in the entire Yeah, I know, <laughs> the right? Entire just... Admeg Codex. That was really f I was actually a lot more like fast paced and like crazy than I thought it would be. I had this vision in my head, it was better than I thought. It was awesome. Okay, well thanks a lot everybody for tuning in. Make sure you hang out in the vault and check out all the other missions in this campaign. And we will be back with more. Skari and Matthew, signing off until next time. Ah, the Gene Stealer Kid. No, I'm just kidding. Bye, everybody. <laughs>